Hello, the verse of the day is following up with the verses of yesterday, Lamentations 22 to 24, and is Lamentations 25. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Man, this is such a true verse. Especially when you think about how easy it is to do. If you just obey the Lord, he's going to take care of you. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Proverbs 3 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I think of it like this. We around us are surrounded by a wilderness. We can get lost so easily. And we try and find our, our way around to, I don't know, a lake, water, somewhere nice. But the Lord, he has a top-down perspective. And all we have to do is obey him. He puts little breadcrumbs around them. And we just got to take that bread. That's like our daily bread. Just eat the daily bread. And as we keep following the daily bread that he gives us, we end up getting to where we need to be. As Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, and it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. We just got to follow the Lord every single day. I've really experienced this, though, when I was single. It was horrible. I mean, I was crying like a little baby sometimes. Lord, Lord, why, when? <laughs> but as hard as I look back at it, as many people who I realized, and, and I was in their life, I was following the Lord, I was in their life, and I wasn't doing things that weren't pleasing to Him. As many as those that I ran into, it was still easy somehow. When I look back, I had these bachelor notes that I wrote, seven last bachelor notes that I wrote before I got married to just capitalize how I felt during that time. And number two, note number two really got me. It was last bachelor note, number two of seven, Amagio Dei, in the image of God. These are my words. This is how I felt it at the time. This is the image of who we are made in, and this is what why we must treat our mind, body, and spirit as precious as a temple in the sight of the Lord. We must give thanks to the Creator, especially when finding a union with another one of His. Our temples must never be for sale, no matter who tries to bring our price down. The base price may go up higher as an auction, but the borderline price of a man or woman following the Lord and Savior must be unwavering. Reason I wrote it like that, I was just thinking about how how sometimes people wanted me to sell my price a little bit lower. Let someone come into my house. Maybe do things extra that are not biblical. But I kept that price up high. I kept looking for the right woman who wouldn't do that. And I said, I, I have personally known some women to attempt to draw me in with their looks, personality, and seduction to compromise on things such as Christianized pagan traditions, fornication, abortion, homosexuality, and the gospel. And I've lost an individual relationship to each one of these individual categories. Yet I'm glad for it, especially upon seeing my bride today. Some may tell us that while getting closer to Christ, that we are becoming much too serious about him. As though becoming stronger, wiser, and healthier is a bad thing. Honestly, the closer we get to Christ, we not only become wise and serious, but we become childlike as well. Goofy and fun with a big sense of adventure. No child would come to Christ if he was a drag to be around. No, what, what kid wants to go to someone <laughs> Who's not fun. They must have loved to be around Jesus. But Jesus called for them saying. 
Permit the children to come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. Luke 18, 16 to 17. We must never worry of becoming too wise, too strong, or too much of anything for our Lord. What we attract is that which we aim for, and we have a matchmaker in heaven who can make that happen. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 36-40 Hashtag, two days to go. I really was blessed by God by following him. And what a beautiful wife I have. This woman has cared for me and loved me through some of the most strangest situations, I could say. And she is such a good blessing to me. Such a good friend. Such a good love. The Lord knew what he was doing when he put us together. And I thank him daily for it. I knew that me, I'm not, I'm not the smartest dude. And I knew that if I wanted to find a good woman, because I'm not the best judge of character, I just had to follow the Lord. I just had to stick with his statutes. I had to not be wavering. If a girl did not like me because I followed the Lord, I knew that that wasn't the right one. It became a litmus test. And all I had to do was befriend people and be happy and be around them. And what became a hard thing about trying to figure someone out all of a sudden became easy because I knew all I had to do was follow the Lord. Following the Lord <laughs> makes life so much easier. And I say that, yes, that was dealing with my singlehood, but I now do that in everything, with my career, with where I want to move, with raising children, with all these things. It becomes so easy if we just obey him. So enjoy it. Just ride life. Just follow him. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for making life easy for us. Thank you for loving us and giving us breadcrumbs as we go to the trails of life. You see the overhead, we don't. And I just, I thank you for that, Lord. May, may as we follow you, may many come to know you, Father. That is our mission in life. And if there is anyone suffering, anybody that is having hard times with their finances, Father, and they want to lose hope and just want to quit life, Father, please change your mind. I know there are people out there right now that are doing that. Please change your mind and make them realize that you are king and that you love them. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.